Hello and welcome. This is the last case of use of the property related to change of origin and scale. This time we are going to use the same property to make the greater values comparatively smaller and very small values comparatively greater. X is in hundreds and thousand. The summation is 15,500, mean is 1550. But all the values are in hundreds. Unit digit and tens digit are zero in all the cases. So we are going to take the assumed mean as 1500 and not as 1550. Again, we are going to use the assumed mean which is less than the arithmetic mean that will give us the positive total of the new variable u. And similarly, since these values are in hundreds as well as the deviations after subtracting 1500 from each and every value will also be in hundreds. So we are going to use change of scale by dividing them by 100. So ultimately u will be x minus 1500 divided by 100. Minus 1500 means change of origin divided by 100 means change of scale. Similarly, now y. y is very small. All the values are <coughs> between 0 and 1 only with two decimal places. The summation is 2.47 divided by 10. The mean y bar is 0.247. Now all the values are with two decimal places only. We have to take the uh, assumed mean also with two decimals only. As per my advice, we are going to take the assumed mean which is less than arithmetic mean. So we are going to take it as 0.24 but not 0.25. And ultimately V will be Y minus 0.24 into 100. Y multiplied by 100. Since we have two decimal places and as a result the deviations bit of original value minus assumed mean will also be in two decimal places. So if we multiply all of them by 100 the values will be very smooth. As a result we have now two variables u and v. The total are 5 and 7 positive respectively. They have positive total because we have taken the assumed mean less than the arithmetic mean. That's why these two totals are positive. If you or we take the assumed means which are greater than arithmetic mean, these two totals will be negative, which I advise to avoid. And we can verify the total difference between actual mean and assumed mean, 50 multiplied by n and repetition of the change of scale, that is division by 100, so it is 5. Similarly here, difference between actual or arithmetic mean and assumed mean multiplied by n and repetition of the change of scale which is multiplied by 100 here so it is 7. I advise you always check these two totals if these two totals are wrong don't prepare these three columns unless you get correct total of these two columns because wrong summation can have two interpretations either the summation is wrong or there is mistake in the upper side of in this column. If there is any mistake in this column of u or v, you will have wrong uv, wrong u square or wrong v square. And all the data will be ultimately wrong and the final value of the coefficient of correlation will also be wrong. So always check these two totals. Now this is uv, the summation is minus 104 u square that means squared value of all values of new variable u and v square is squared values of all new values of the new variable v. Now let us substitute these five summations into our favorite formula n sigma u e minus sigma u into sigma v upon under root n sigma u square minus sigma u whole square into under root n sigma y v square minus sigma v the whole square. n is 10 sigma u is minus 104 minus 5 into 7 upon under root n is 10 sigma u square is 85 minus u sigma u is 5 the whole square into under root n is 10 sigma v square is 229 minus 7 square so it is minus 1040 minus 35 on the upper side and in the denominator 10 into 85 850 minus 5 square 25 into under root 229 into 10 2290 minus 7 square 49. 
let us simplify 1004 minus 1040 minus 35 minus 1075 upon under root 850 minus 25 is 825 into under root 2290 minus 41 that means 2241 ultimately we get 1351.449 the multiplication of square roots of the two values or first multiply these two and then square root ultimately we will have 1351.449 so ultimately the value of coefficient of correlation between u and v this is coefficient of correlation but between u and v is minus 0 0.795 now u is result of change of origin and scale in x and v is result of change of origin and scale in y so the coefficient of correlation between x and y is exactly equal to the coefficient of correlation between u and v by virtue of the characteristic or feature of coefficient of correlation that coefficient of correlation is independent of change of origin and scale so the coefficient of correlation between x and y is also minus 0 0.795 that is partially negative correlation or comparatively high degree because this is more than 0.5 approximately it is 0.8 so very near to 1 as compared to 0.5 but simply this is partially negative correlation that means x and y changes in the opposite direction more or less in the opposite direction and with different rates at the different points of time that's it thank you very much